Known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people. We got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with a shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular mark confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. Oh, heck. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator.
A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle. Bull shark proves she can be dangerous at both ends. While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less disgust is their propensity to feed on food. Well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on food. Nothing can interrupt a serene swim like a hungry predator. When swimming, move easily and gracefully so as not to attract sharks.
emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? to eat someone who's taken a lot of painkillers. The shark's intestines become ungainly out of water. She's so making a lot of splashes.
Let me just shot my school. Oh, ho! Look at MT! Oh, she gonna make quite a metal piece! Got us some dinner coming, boys! Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me! Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Whoa! Well, why, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off the camera. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark.
Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. With its wary eyes and robust physique, the grouper is the very picture of this shark should consider returning to the water. Here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey.
or muskie, is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world, but only the trashy ones live in Daytona. So long as the breath of life remains, there are 70-year-olds who survive gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. Rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. Shark remains the same perfectly designed predator that swam the oceans when Tyrannosaurus Rex ruled the land. The monster approaches, ready to attack without hesitation. Thank you. 
the solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. Local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. The situation looks dire if the big fish doesn't find water soon. A clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. No 
no one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. Catfish are bottom feeders, so in eating them, sharks consume quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things. Predator finds the catfish crisp, juicy, and tender. The overhunting of Fawtick's Keystone Predators has led to a superabundance of catfish is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator.
Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Despite the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests reveal they still prefer CDs. Oh, Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. The water churns into a frenzy of feeding. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris.
I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Little grouper can be fried, grilled, skewered, used in soups, or made into a horrible tasting filling. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. for catfishing.
Using her quickness, the bull shark is able to escape serious injury. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities.
As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. An enormous portion of the shark's brain real estate is dedicated to smell.
rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. with albinism often suffer from poor ice and are quite sensitive to light.
The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. The school of Barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Visibility underwater is limited to a few dozen feet. The school of Barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror.
As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. Ocean remains a brutal kill or be killed world.
Horse Lake plays host to the city's working poor, who come despite its frequent water quality alerts. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers.
To catch a shark, one must be as quick as a shark. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love.
In the 1920s, you could buy turtle soup in a can. Of course, back then, there was a high chance you'd die of tuberculosis, so there are trade-offs. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. This local seldom is an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. The kind of regular there at Flamingo Joe's. You could say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list.
The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. The shark's reckless behavior only further incenses Port Clovis's citizens. The sound of shotguns and molly hatchet disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea. The shark hunters are near. Dead horse legs, they got a shark problem. Got something out there right in the rocket The battle is over, but the war goes on. But I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding.
danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined process servers. Their boats laden with bench warrants and affidavits. We got a shark problem. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
always a thrill to see these majestic animals in their native state. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever.
The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. plays out under the rolling waves. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. The term skiff is commonly used to refer to shallow, flat bottom boats like this. It could also be a cool nickname. No. 
the shark proves as slippery as it is dead. Kill it! Try to bring it back! Shark hunters will not give up on finding their prey, at least until things quiet down or they run out of hard limit. Sharks are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. Shark is on dead horse leg. I see it! The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. It has surfaced. Time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. It was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. 